Very interesting. I just spoke with my upstairs neighbors. Sitting here watching The Mandalorian. All of a sudden just huge just like thud from the ceiling. So I was just like, you know what? I, I can't. I can't. It's every day, every night. Can't deal with it anymore. So slipped all my shoes went up, and, and my mask. <laughs> and I went upstairs to speak with them. And I'm going to tell y'all, it was very, it was a very interesting experience. I go upstairs and I knock on the door. I knock on the door. It takes them a minute, but they finally answer. It's the husband that answered. He's just like, what's up? And I was like, look, I was like, I don't know what is going on up here. It sounds like y'all dropped something on the floor. Something banged on my ceiling. So he turns to his wife and he's just like, get my, get my slippers. So I took this to mean he was going to come outside to talk to me, which he did. And it was really funny because <laughs> he comes outside and he's just like, it's every day with you. How dare you come up to my apartment at 11 at night and bang on my door? And I'm just like, whoa. I was like, number one, it's every day with me. It's every day with you. <laughs> this is this is only my third time like talking to y'all about this. And I didn't bang on the door. I knocked. It's like, no, you banged. It was like a cop bang. He was very angry. You know, he was cursing me out, called me all kinds of motherfucker, talking about how, you know, I'm the asshole that's been causing problems with all the neighbors. And I'm just like, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. And during the course of the conversation, you know, I'm trying to get them to understand that what they do upstairs, you know, it's amplified down here. And, you know, they're just like, you know, it's not our fault. It, you know, we're just trying to live our lives. What do you want us to do? And, you know, it's like, I get that. I'm telling them, like, I get that. I understand that. I understand that. But I'm trying to get y'all to understand that what y'all do affects me. And here's where things start to get interesting. So my neighbor asked me, you know, how much I pay for rent. I'm just like, I want to see what point he's making. So I told him. He told me how much he's paying. It's more because he's got a bigger apartment. You know, it's a two-story apartment, more square footage. So it's more. And he goes on this tirade essentially about the building, uh, the complex rather, and the office and, you know, like the, just the area. You know, he's not happy. You know, they're not happy. And he goes on to tell me about how, you know, he's still working. His wife is still working. And while they're lucky to still be working, you know, there's just a lot more for them to do in their positions because of COVID and like how everyone on their respective staffs got let go, but they're still working. So they're taking the brunt of all that work. He expressed to me that he's terrified of COVID and how COVID actually fucked up their plans because they were going to move and then COVID happened. And so they had to put those plans on hold. And it was just a lot. It was just a lot. And he was very angry. And as he spoke and as he let everything come out, you know, in my mind, I'm just like, yeah, this dude isn't mad that I came upstairs. You know, I just, easy target. You know, he is just frustrated with everything that's going on right now. And I, I feel him on that, you know. I can totally sympathize. But he's just really frustrated with what is going on right now and, you know, the black dude that came knocking at his door at 11 o'clock to tell him to pipe down easy target you know he could unleash on me because he was he was trying to let me have it he was on some just like you motherfucker get the fuck off my my property off my porch and i'm just like why are you talking to me like that man like i'm i'm being nice <laughs> i'm i'm not cursing you out i'm not insulting you i'm you know didn't come up here to upset you and you know after a while he calmed down and you know he did apologize and you know we just talked and i get it I get it. You know, they can't help it. It's 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 the way this building is constructed and the way the apartments are. You know, they had issues. He was telling me, you know, he and his wife, they were telling me about issues that they've had and how maintenance hasn't, you know, really responded. You know, they really haven't come through to, to fix anything. And, you know, he was just like, yeah, you know, the, the apartment complex, you know, all they care about is the money. As long as they get their the, the money at the first of the month, that's all they care about. Which, you know, is true. <laughs> it's just really interesting. It is what it is. 
And he was just like, you know, he promises that they will be out of my hair soon. But then they, they cautioned me. They're just like, yeah, but, you know, you better you better pray that the next people that move in don't have a bunch of kids because what are you going to do then? And I was like, yeah, I've thought about that. I've sincerely thought about that. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a fucked up situation. I just couldn't take it, though, because, like I said, this was this is my third time talking to them about it. And, it, it, you know, I, I, I did kind of find it funny how they were trying to gaslight me because he was just like, you know, every day it's something new with you. You always, you always. And I'm just like, I always. This is my third time, rather, talking to y'all about this. And, you know, I've been here since August. So how is it? How is this all the time with me? And. You know, his wife was just like, yeah, you know, when you cornered me on the stairs when I was walking my dog. And I was like, whoa, I didn't corner you. It's just that white victimhood. <laughs> I'm just like, really, that's that's what you're going to pull? Like early on, he was just like, call the cops, call the call the cops, let the cops come in and sort this out. And I thought about it. I was just like, well, maybe I should take my black ass back downstairs because, you know, I don't want to deal with the police. But then I was just like, you know what? No, fuck that. I'm going to stand on my ground and, yeah, call the cops. Call the cops and let's see, you know, what they say. As a matter of fact, I'd be more than willing to ask the cops to come in and stand in my apartment just for a little while so that they can hear it. I thought that was really an interesting card, for, two interesting cards for them to play. You know, the cops and the whole, you know, you cornered me I'm like bitch you were walking your big ass dog <laughs> if i was really a threat to you you would have you would have sick the dog on me right yeah it was funny so we'll see what happens they're just like they're gonna try to be more cognizant about you know how they move around in the apartment so that it doesn't disturb me and they did apologize and you know it was it was it was, it was what it was it was what it was, but it was really interesting.